welcome back to Milia Cockapoo. So if you decided you want to get a puppy and going through a breeder is the right route for you, but where do you start? Today I'm going to be telling you things that I wish I'd known when looking for Millie on how to find the right breeder for you that's ethical and not in a puppy farm. So first off, how do you find a breeder? Well, I think everybody just goes to Google nowadays to search puppies for sale. And especially in England, there are websites which are dedicated to the selling of dogs or putting them up for adoption. On those, you'll be able to search for the breed that you are looking for and get an understanding of how much they are selling for. Recently, due to the spike of people wanting a puppy in lockdown, the prices have gone up. For example, in terms of cockapoos, before lockdown, you could get them for about £900. Now you're looking from anywhere between £2,000 to £3,000. If there's a specific breed that you are after and you know somebody with that breed, then I would advise speaking to them and asking where they got their dog from because they will only give recommendations of a breeder that they actually liked and you never know they might be still doing litters. However, if you don't have a clue where to start, then Google is your best friend. Here in the UK, there are websites which are dedicated to the selling of animals and giving them up for adoption. This is where I did a lot of my research. When you go onto these websites, you will find thousands of dogs for sale or for adoption. And after a couple of minutes of looking through, you'll soon be able to see adverts which are good and bad and get a feel for yourself of a genuine breeder and somebody who cares about where the puppies are gonna end up. The first thing that'll be an indicator to what the breeder is like is the length of their ad. If it's just short saying Dalmatians for sale or cockapoos for sale, to me that's a fact that they just want to get rid of the dogs as quick as possible. Whereas other adverts will go into a lot of detail and if the breeder has spent the time making their advert as detailed as possible, then that's a good sign that they're gonna also be the same with their puppies. Other red flags within the ad, to me, is if somebody is selling their dogs before they are born and asking for deposits. When a bitch gets pregnant and goes in for the ultrasound, it's always a guess from the vets as to how many puppies they will have. And also, you never know how many are gonna survive the birth. In my opinion, you should never buy a dog before it is born. Another sign is in the pictures. If there's only one picture and it's a screenshot from on the phone, I would then be questioning if they actually have the dog. There are a lot of ads online which are using other puppies pictures, taking people's deposits and then there is no dog at the end of it. The ad should have a few different pictures of the litter and of the mum and dad. And when you contact them, they should be able to give you more. Another sign is if the puppy is over eight or nine weeks old and there is only one of them. This could be a sign that the puppy was stolen and the thieves are trying to sell it on. Since there's been a rise of more people buying dogs over recent months, there's also been a rise in dog theft. So please be careful and have your wits about you when looking online. So next is the information that should be in the ads. And if it's not in the ad, when you contact the breeder, they should willingly be able to provide you all of this information. First, both the mum and dad should have been health tested and the breeder should have copies of those certificates and be willing to give them to you. If they don't have these, I'd be questioning whether they're a genuine breeder or not. Second, if the parents are KC registered, you should be able to get copies of their certificates. Next, the breeder should also be microchipping the puppies before they come home to you and flea and worming them and giving them the first injection. If they don't do any of this, I would again be questioning the breeder. It is a legal requirement that all dogs within England are microchipped. And if it's going through the breeder, they have to be microchipped by the breeder. If the breeder does not state this in the ad that they will be doing this, and if they say they're not going to, again, that's another red flag. Breeders within the UK should also give out a puppy pack. And this is normally stated in the ad. Included in this will be a sample of the food that the puppy's been on puppy pads, poo bags, a scent blanket, a toy. And then I also got a collar, lead and food bowl. It, it should just be the basics to get you started. Good breeders, again, will include all of this information within their ad or they should tell you about this when you contact them. Other good breeders will also give you a month's free insurance. If all the information I've just listed is in the description, I would then contact the breeder and ask a few more questions and give some information about yourself. 
A genuine breeder will care about your situation and make sure you will give a loving home to your puppy. If at any point you get a gut feeling or it seems like the breeder doesn't want to answer all of your questions, back away. Trust your gut instinct. If you think something is wrong, then that breeder isn't the right one for you. So you've done all your research and you've asked the breeder all the questions and you're feeling confident that they are the right breeder for you. What do you do next? Right now, as I'm filming this, we are in lockdown. However, the breeders will work around this. They should be willing to FaceTime you and give you video footage of at least the mum and the litter together and show you around the home and again, answer all the questions that you might have. Personally, I would never put down a deposit on a dog without seeing it. So after FaceTiming Millie's breeder, I went and saw the litter in person. You should be able to do this within an outdoor setting and social distanced. But it'll give you a feel for the environment that the dogs are raised in and what the breeder is like. It is normal for breeders to ask for a copy of your ID and some information about yourself before you go and visit him. This is due to the high volume of puppy theft which is happening as they want to make sure that the people that are coming are genuine. Other questions that you should be asking your breeder are, how many litters has that mum had? A bitch should not have had more than three litters in her life and she should be over a year old. Also, you should be asking how many litters has the breeder themselves had across all their dogs? Because the breeder can only have had three litters before they need to obtain a license from their local council to be a breeder. If the breeder has had more than three litters, then they will require a breeder license from their local council and they should be able to provide you a copy of this. So you've found the right breeder now, they've answered all your questions, you've seen the dog in person and you've fallen in love with it. So you put down a deposit. At that point, you should get given a contract and a receipt of your payment. Once you've paid your deposit, the puppy is then yours. If you change your mind, you will not get your money back and you'll be able to pick up your puppy when it's over eight weeks old. By that point, the breeder should have taken it to the vet for its first injections, be flea and wormed, and be microchipped. It's also worth asking them what type of injection they'll be getting as each vet gives out a different injection. While they're getting their injections, the vet should do a health check on the puppy to make sure that they're okay. If anything is fucked up, a genuine breeder will let you know and offer to give you the deposit back if your puppy isn't well. This should all be laid out in the contract that you were given. When you also pick up your puppy, within the contract there should be a time frame for you to take the puppy to the vets and have your own health check conducted on it. A genuine breeder will give you a full refund if a health issue is found. If you decide to keep the puppy, genuine breeders will have given you a month's free health insurance to cover the vet bills. Breeders should also offer to help you find another home for the puppy if the worst happens and you decide you cannot give a home to that dog. A breeder's job at the end of the day is to find the puppies the best homes that they possibly can and they should be wanting what is best for that dog. I'd like to reiterate that if at any point before you put your deposit down there are signs or you do not feel confident with that breeder, don't get the puppy. If you think it is from a puppy farm, if you think it has been stolen, do not buy that puppy. If you found the odd online, report it. But throughout this whole process, just use your own common sense. You will know when you found the right breeder for you. I hope this information helps you if you are looking for a breeder. My most important advice is just to trust your gut. You will know when you found the right breeder and puppy for you. Do not feel pressured into buying a dog. And if you feel like you are being pressured by the breeder, then say you need time to think on it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any advice that I might have missed on looking for a breeder, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you don't already and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a video from us. Make sure to follow us over on Instagram at Millie Cockapoo where you'll get daily updates and you'll see a lot more of Millie as she just sleeps when I'm filming most of the time. And we will see you next week. Bye! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Neighbours out in the garden, she's gonna be wondering what on earth I'm doing. You're gonna go down because you're getting heavy and you're not in the shop, Millie. It's like half your head. <laughs>